Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I have a special video this is my old van I just bought a new one thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech we are in my old vehicle wow got the gates on the windows this is a 2008 Ford E250, also known as the Ford Econoline. Look at that. I still have roll up windows. Off roading lights in the front over here. These are great when you're getting out of the city. A lot of memories with this truck, and honestly, it looks pretty good for a 2008. Only has 101,000 miles. Took care of it got robbed quite a few times so that's why you have, we have the gate over there I got them on all the windows i got the windows in the back all gated up i do have padlocks around the entire vehicle and we got black rims new tires transmission was rebuilt still under warranty but honestly, it's time for a new vehicle. Here's a quick look at the setup. I did paint these doors. Got the black, got a sound system, speakers front and back with the like off white grayish for the insides. I did have these doors purple previously. I got two game boxes here, which are actually strapped down. You're not gonna see it here, but it's actually with uh, Kindoff in the back so it's actually strapped down to the vehicle so it's always in the same place I got one two and a third one back there and I actually still have the purple doors on that side whole interior are painted black I do have videos on that I have videos of me building this shelf so we got a whole bunch of stuff up here got my tanks boxes but right here this is the previous setup I have to really hunch over here so you see i got the second seat in the back i mean it's pretty organized but might seem like an organized mess <laughs> this one's currently unlocked as i'm in here but had all these locked because this truck got broken into twice got the gates here here over there and this one is covered but yeah, this is the old setup. This thing was and will continue to be a money machine. But it's time for the moment you all have been waiting for. We have an upgrade. We went with a brand new, fresh off the lot, 2023 Ram Promaster 1500. And we got the low roof. We got it in black with the blackout package. This came from the factory. This van is incredible. It is so comfortable, I have to say. I tinted these lights. I smoked out the front and I completely tinted out the back. I also tinted the windows in the front, covering the company name over there. But man, this thing is incredible. You can still see inside. But wow, got the sliding door, black rims. Look how tall this back is. It's huge. Really, it's a huge difference. Man, this is a much bigger truck. Look at, wow. Just look at that. Got the rear view camera from the top. Huge lights over there. And these are the rear lights. Look how I tinted those. It's all black. This thing is tough, man. It's the size, basically the size of van I have. Look how, tall, look how much taller this is. Oh man, I love that. The space in here is incredible. So this is the blackout package came straight off the dealership and it also came with you know, the plastic inserts all over the walls 
on the inside, black interior on all the walls, and a protective floor. You see the Ram logo here is black. And we also have the blacked out Ram logo right here. And right here. As you can see right here, these are slick locks. I actually have these. Let me show you how these work. Or at least look. There it is. Got the waterproof covering on the top. It's basically like a padlock like I had on the other truck. But man, it's just the, in, the inside is different. We don't have those hasps outside getting rusted out. And wow, I just love how it actually matches the black right there. Oh man. And we got the same one here. So we have no windows in this van. So we don't have to worry about anybody breaking in. And I do have a partition inside. So we have the lock only for the rear and then the sliding door over here, which is also for the rear. You can see the partition there from the inside. It's a huge, huge windshield. It's super, super comfortable. Wow. The greatest part about this van at this moment right now is what I just did from the inside. I just made it back. And we have the interior customized for an HVAC professional. This thing seriously is incredible and I feel very proud at this moment. I'm glad to share it with you all. This thing is absolutely amazing. Wow. This is all done in one day. Eddie, if you're watching this, you're the man. Wow, I'm seriously blown away. That is one serious truck. <laughs> oh man, and we do have the heavy duty floor over here and we do have a bit of grip. It's a rainy day. We also have black inserts here, which is actually pretty cool with the full black interior. It's awesome. We have a nice big LED light we got the hooks here. This right here is a nitrogen tank holder and a B tank holder. We have the refrigerant cylinder rack over here. This thing is gonna be such a luxury. Love the partition over there. Got this rack going all the way across. I mean, this thing is just unreal. And we also have some on the side. I mean, look at this. Oh man, and we have such a tall roof that, man, you could pretty much stand in here. And this right here is your 50 pound holder. This is for my recovery tank. I don't want that thing shifting around, but look at this thing. Wow. Huge, huge LED light nice support here i also have a bunch of these bars as you can see over here where we can divide these wow this is unreal for all you watching this you know how hard i've been working out here this is gonna be such a luxury what an upgrade i love this truck and it's completely functional but having to always open up these locks and everything which i actually just took off right now because doing a little bit of work in here but having to do all that was an absolute nightmare having to gate up all my windows because i can't have a separation i didn't have commercial plates from this to this i know it's empty wow you can already see this is completely an upgrade. And I love how, how tall this is, even though this is the low roof edition. The market right now is terrible, but the used market's even worse. Best decision was new vehicle. And wow. I have a lot of work ahead of me. It's Saturday right now. Gotta set this all up. Hopefully I can put this out by tomorrow. 
Sunday because I do not have another vehicle ready. I've been working hard trying to get my work done and get this vehicle and everything set up and all that. So really, there's not enough time in a day. I've been super busy, but really, I should feel super blessed right now. I'm super happy. And this truck is extremely comfortable. Let me give you guys a quick little tour of the inside. Got these huge windows, the steering wheel. I've got some controls on there, which is awesome. Whole bunch of stuff. Got a nice screen, Navi, mobile hotspot, Bluetooth. You got your shifter here. Look, we even have a tow haul feature. Got some USBs over here. We have the, we have the USB-C, the regular one. Got the 12 volt. All right. Super awesome. Huge, huge windshield, really. It's like awesome. And you feel like I'm driving a bus, but it's super comfortable. We have this partition here, which is great. And we do have a good amount of space here. Got my book bag and Gatorade <laughs> over there. But man, we still got the plastic on here. This thing is brand new. Brand new. Wow just had somebody come by right during this video to come check out this van he gave it a test drive heard about it checked it out and it sold wow that's it and here's our new toy this thing <laughs> seriously is amazing i'm gonna end the video here i got i'm gonna spend my night my saturday night setting this up and trust me this is better than any party this is awesome if anyone's interested in seeing the truck when it's fully set up definitely leave a comment below but we're going to definitely wrap this one up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week i'll catch you all next time